Hi there, Year 11. This is another screencast, this time focusing on Unit 1, Section C, writing your responses. Section C, remember, is uh, describing and evaluating a performance that you have seen. This is a generic sc uh, screencast uh, showing you how to use the writing frame FEAR to frame your responses. But for that, I've used an example, and I've used the example of Blood Brothers. Um, but the skills are transferable to whatever performance you see. So, uh, first of all, what is fear? Fear is a writing frame, uh, very similar to point, evidence, explain and link. Um, but this one is particularly more useful to us in the study of drama. Um, it breaks down into focus, evidence, acting and response. Uh, the focus is the focus of the paragraph, what is it about, the, the point of the paragraph. Um, the E is for evidence and explanation, and that's giving the reader, in this case the examiner, um, an example of the focus and an explanation of what is happening. Um, for that, you're going to use an, a quote and a description of action, and then you're going to provide the context of where that action takes place in the play. Uh, the A goes on to acting and action, which is a thorough description of what the actors on stage is doing to achieve this. And then response, which is the response from the audience, which is how you felt about it. So, you've been given lots of these graphic organisers, and these graphic organisers help us to formulate our answer. The answers need to be yours, they need to be your opinions, and your ideas but this is just one way of helping you structure that so that you can revise properly and all of these um, graphic organizers are structured in the same way so that you can follow them quite easily using the fear um, structure so within the center you've always got the question and in this particular sense it's the characters as they first appear on stage so that's going to be your focus. And then the next box is the um, context box. So the page number. You don't need to give the page number in the exam, by the way. It's just for your reference so that in your revision you can read through the scene. That's the best way to remember what they did on stage, is to read the action in the script and recreate it, act it through. So in this case you're going to have the first line and the first action that they did. Um, and then a couple of notes about the key words that they used and then finishing up with the effects that that had on the audience to establish their character. Um, obviously those graphic organizers change. Um, there's ones for uh, characters as they develop, for tense moments in the play, for funny moments in the play, um, for themes in the play. Um, but we also need to make sure that you know that the, the whole thing is covered, so any possibility is covered within the questions. So this we're going to go through an example, and this example takes uh, the uh, the question from I think it was 2012 exam. So describe in detail how your chosen actor used vocal and physical skills to establish a character through their first appearance in the play. Um, this is worth 20 marks, and the key points within that question is we're doing a description um, so therefore our emphasis is going to be on the action and an acting section of the paragraph um, and we've got to make sure that we're talking about voice and physical skills um, I don't suppose they'll ever to ask you a question that just asks you to use one but they might do so be prepared for that and they've given you the specific moment in the play. So it's their first appearance. So in that question, it's quite nice because they've given you the point of time when they want you to write about. So using the focus, this is the point of your focus of the paragraph. It should be short and concise, in about 20 words. And this one is even shorter. So the character I'm going to focus on is Mickey and how the actor made his first entrance on stage. It gets straight to the point, um, and it's talking about uh, what actor you're going to focus on and the moment of action. And it really is just simply regurgitating the question 
but so that it allows you to start your answer properly. And then we're going to give some evidence and explanation. Um, this is going to be about double the length of the focus and again needs to be concise as possible. You will need to find a moment in the performance that evidences your focus and explain why it does. The moment of focus is given to you within this question. Sometimes it isn't and you've got to make that decision. You need to be as specific as possible. Uh, go for just one line or the character's first entrance. So um, we've got this example um, and in red is the bit of evidence so that is where the extract comes from. So when we first see Mickey, he is age seven and runs onto stage with a toy gun before banging on his house door shouting. Okay, so therefore, there we've got the action. This is what he is going to, he is doing. And then we've got the quote. Okay, so that's pretty tricky. But really, we need to remember the quotes for the exams. It's quite a lot to ask because it's quite a lot of quotes that you can refer to. So you need to be clever and wise about how you learn those quotes. Because on questions like this, because there's no set piece of theatre that you need to see, you can focus on just one character. So you can just focus on Mickey's entrance or Mrs Johnston's entrance. That makes it easier for a start because you only need to remember one line. Um, the reason why you need to remember the line, if not word for word, roughly what they said, is because when you're talking about how they use vocal skills, you really want that quote to hook your answer around. And, and we'll see why in a moment, but you need to be able to say, you know, he emphasised this word. He used this tone of voice when he said this line. And without having specifics, it's very wish-washy as to what you're trying to say. So then in green, going back to the example, we've got the bit of explanation, the context from where that line has come from. So the actor, who is an adult, has to convey to the audience that he is a child who is poor, doesn't have a good education, has loads of energy. Okay, so they're both really concise sentences. Um, the, uh, the second sentence is a bit of a list of what the actor has to achieve in this series of action. Um, and the first sentence is very specific in, in the way it describes what the actor is supposed to do and the line they've got to say. So that's going to give the examiner some context of what is going to happen, but really the marks come in the next paragraph, the next section of the paragraph even, which is giving us our action. So this is going to need to be our longest section. And for this question, because it's a describing question, it's going to be even longer. So we need to cover everything you need to include to explain how that movement was, how that movement was performed. And include every key word for movement and voice that you can. So we've got here, the actor ran across the stage with a childish energy and a quick pace. His gestures and body language were large and exaggerated in an energetic way that is associated with children. His facial expression is really active and he, that's supposed to read, was. And he was looking all around the set excitedly with his eyes wide open. He knelt on the floor to use levels to help communicate his age when, the, when his mother, Mrs Johnston, opened the door. He spoke at quite a fast pace and though he spoke in slang, he still managed to articulate his words properly so he can understand he emphasised the word ma'am and what, perhaps to indicate what was important to him. He spoke clearly and loudly, without pauses, and with an excited tone of voice. So there, as I was reading, I was just highlighting the key words that help describe the actor's actions. Remember, the question is focus, asking us to focus on voice and movement. So this answer then is giving us a detailed description of how he used his movement and how... He used his voice. But be careful. You can't just give a list. You can't just say the actor ran across the stage with energy and pace. He used gestures and body language. He had facial expressions. You need to add in those describing words. You need to you know, describe it as energetic, uh, childish energy and quick pace. Large and exaggerated and associated with children. He was really active. 
and excitedly. You know, you need to be able to use those describing words to uh, to help the examiner understand the way in which he used those key words. Just listing the key words really shows just that you've learned the key words. You need to be able to show that you know how to use them and can describe how they're used as well. Um, that needs to be done with the voice as well. Um, you've got to make sure that you're using a lot of describing words and understanding how the actor has used his voice. So that's a, a good response. I think it could be an outstanding response with a little bit more description and a few more key words in there. Um, but when we look about the assessment criteria and look at the time that we've got available in this exam, we want to be focusing on excellent and then pushing ourselves, if we have time, to improve them to be outstanding. So then we uh, look at the response. So this ties up the paragraph telling us, the reader, what or how you thought the actor did in achieving his aims. So you're linking the explanation now with the action. So you're going back a bit. So in doing this, the actor managed to communicate Mickey's character really well. Remember, that was the other focus of the question. How well is he communicating Mickey's character? So then you're, then you're adding some explanation. So the mixture of fast-paced movements, his excited face expressions and use of levels, all help to communicate his character's youthfulness, interest and naivety. Always use a use of three. It's really good. Similarly, his use of fast-paced speech, his choice of emphasis, on words and his use of slang also communicated that he was from a poor background with a little education and a child of seven. So all of those, those, those two sentences there, use use of three twice. First time to describe movements, second time to describe his character. And I know it sounds really clunky, but just using the word communicate, character, just helps signpost the examiner that you understand what you're talking about. So that's our full paragraph there, um, starting with the focus, and then the evidence, and then the action, and then the response. Um, so pause it here and have a look at the whole paragraph, um, and then have a go at some of your own questions, um, of which I've got some here. Three questions for you to be able to work with. Also, if you go onto the AQA website, you can get hold of some of the past papers, which you can read through as well. All right, good luck.